Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Mango Etc. I'm here today to bring you the review for One Piece episode 779. So, everything with Luffy and company. Luffy decides he wants to cook food. Luffy can't cook to save his life. He ends up cooking himself a really, really bad. And in doing this, because he made mistakes along the way, like to say his final end result wasn't a mistake in itself, they are not out of food. Before all of that, Pedro does have a conversation with Luffy about it, um, about what was in the newspaper. It says that the revolution is based that's been destroyed. It says that it was tipped, the Navy was tipped off. Now, when I saw, heard this, I was thinking, ooh, who could have tipped them off? Is there anybody within Blackbeard's crew right now that could have tipped them off? A Koji, yes, a Koji. Now it doesn't. It could be one or two things. It could be a Koji is not a double agent working for both the Marines and that bit Paris. You know, this could have been a whole setup between a Koji and the Kaimi during the fight, or it's just a thing where he called in a favor, and that's the, that's the like that's that was his part of the deal. Like he had to give up the location to. The revolution is based in exchange for whatever information he got. So that's where the way I'm seeing things right now. And it's also mentioned by Pedro because the newspaper doesn't like outline the defeat or capture of Dragon and Sabo, who are big players within the revolutionary, it's most likely that it didn't happen. However, if the world government was smart, they could have put that in the newspaper to draw out Luffy. But I guess they don't. They, I guess they don't think Luffy's a big enough threat where they need to do that as of right now. So that's the thing about the newspaper. And like I'm saying, because like I'm like I said last review, I don't think this newspaper story is one hundred like one hundred percent legit. Like I think there's some holes in that, and we don't know the full story. And I just refuse to believe that the revolutionaries got beat by Black Bit Pirates. Because everything involved in the newspaper. We flip, it, we flip over to Zhao and we just find out that they are just finding out about Carrot going off with the straw hats and we have the bit with the Duke and he's just looking over Zhao and he's just wondering to himself how did they get to Zhao they most likely had the Vivi card and he's just worried because he thinks someone's going to come back to attack them just after that Jack confirmed Fisherman the last thing I want to talk about is the figure of Robin Kaido we see him drunk. He goes from the sulky, crying drunk to the more aggressive kind of drunk. But everything that comes out of his scene is we find out how he's, yeah, he, so he starts off upset about how Joker got captured. And then he goes on to say, but then again, he probably put it on himself for being weak. And just mentioning how they were planning to build the strongest pirate crew ever. You know, just with all the devil fruit ability users, and then that this is mostly when he's in his, his whiny, crying stage. And as he goes into the aggressive stage, he starts to realize who caused this Luffy and Law, and he's just getting mad about that, just getting upset about the worst generation. And then he goes on to because <laughs> what he did to his two crew members was quite deep, but yeah, as the thing goes like he hit now in the manga it was just like a hit and then this bit was done better probably in the manga just the hit in general because we see how far it spanned down and like whoa the casual swing from Kaido was doing some legitimate damage the one thing though that I've preferred in the manga is when we see kids now I don't know if it's just my memory playing tricks on me or it's the anime toned it down, but Kid looked more broke up, just like more damaged, more defeated in the manga than he did in the anime. But yeah, the whole Kaido scene was just Kaido just basically crying over Joker, getting over it because he's so weak, and then getting mad at the people who caused it, Luffy and Law. And he didn't outright say, Yeah, I'm after them now, but he's after them now. <laughs> he's after them now, like he's on. He's there on his bad list right now. So yeah, that's everything. 
to happen within this episode. This episode was alright, you know, I think it deserves a three star rating. I don't want to call it a review, like always, guys, must be your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, take care, have a nice day.